Hi, I'm Stan Williams, and in this StoryCraft training series, I sometimes refer to 18 secrets of successful stories. These are things that I've enumerated somewhat arbitrarily uh, as a result of my consulting and script reviewing over the years. Things that are missing in stories that are absolutely necessary to connect with audiences. In the StoryCraft training series, I refer to them, but I don't cover them 1 to 18. I mention them as they appear in the episode sequence, but I don't take any particular note of covering all of them. So I wanted to take this moment uh, and take this short little free episode and list them for you just to let you know what they are. They're also available on my website and on my blog and on a bookmark that's available to you if you'll simply send me a self-addressed stomped envelope to the Moral Premise Bookmark, Post Office Box 29, Novi, Michigan, 48376. So here now are those 18 secrets of success, at least as I enumerate them. Number one, your story must have a strong, ironic hook. The hook is some intriguing physical thing that brings awe to the audience's curiosity. It's an impossibility, something ironic. That describes what the story is about. You're only allowed one per story, all else has to be normal. Aristotle said, a convincing impossibility told truthfully is better than an unconvincing possibility told falsely. The second secret of successful story structure is that you must have an engaging log line. Ideally, the log line ought to read like this. An imperfect protagonist viscerally and ironically battles a powerful and ubiquitous antagonist for a visual and heartfelt goal to escape grave and consequential stakes. Now, of course, you should replace all those generic words with specifics from your own story. The third secret of successful stories is that you must have a conflict of values, a vice and a virtue, or a strength and a weakness that are absolutely, ideally opposed to each other, such as humility versus pride, liberality versus covetousness, chastity versus lust, meekness versus anger, temperance versus gluttony, brotherly love versus envy, diligence versus sloth, or any of those others on the right, like hope versus fear, generosity versus greed, which are all derivations of the seven capital virtues and vices on the left. The fourth secret is that your story must be based on a true and consistently applied moral premise. The moral premise is a simple statement that reads like this. Some psychological vice leads to some physical detriment, but some psychological virtue leads to a physical betterment. The fifth secret of successful stories is that the moral premise must be consistently applied in all aspects and all levels of your story. How do you spell consistent? Well, it has to apply to the character arc, to the act, to the sequence, to the scene, to every line to the photography, music, sets, wardrobe, props, the editing, packaging, and marketing. The sixth secret of successful stories is that your protagonists must be imperfect. That is, they're some mixture of virtue and vice. The seventh secret is that your story must be about a protagonist or a hero who is active and not passive. The eighth secret is that the protagonist or hero of your story must have a physical and visible goal that the audience can root for. The ninth secret of successful stories is that your protagonist has an internal need that they recognize, and it's when they recognize that need that they're able then to make progress toward achieving their physical and visible goal. The tenth secret is that the story must be about a protagonist whose internal need is what creates the outside insurmountable physical obstacles. The eleventh secret of successful story is that the structure, the foundational structure of the story, must follow something that's natural in the human condition. 
The 12th secret of successful stories is at the moment of grace, that moment when the protagonist recognizes the truth of the moral premise, should occur very close to the midpoint of the story, that is 50% through. The 13th secret is that all the characters must make their own decisions for the turning points in their own subplots. The 14th secret is that all characters pursue individual goals in each of their subplots. The 15th secret is that the protagonist's spine or main plot must have at least 13 beats. The 16th secret of successful stories is that beat for beat, we create an emotional roller coaster for the audience for every subplot. The 17th secret of successful stories is that the writer must suture the audience into the story. We call this identification. And the 18th secret of successful stories is perhaps the most important of all. It says, entertain first. Show, don't tell. Hope you'll take advantage of this training so that your writing may vanquish fear and bestow hope. I'm Stan Williams.